The user's analysis module is a great place to familiarize yourself with your account and see firsthand how Heap's user first data model works. If you go to the analysis tab, click into users and then run query. You will be able to see all of the different users you have interacting with your site or app. I say this is a great analysis module to start in because each box here represents an individual user and here you can see both the breakdown of the properties that are being captured for that individual on the left along with the action each individual is taking on the right. This analysis module gives new Heap users the ability to familiarize themselves with what events and properties are being captured for their unique business. Starting on the top left, you'll be able to see if a user is anonymous or identified. Now by default, Heap assigns an anonymous user number to every unique user on your site with the format user and then a series of numbers, as you can see here. However, depending on your preferences, you can use the Heap Identify feature to surface an identity for your users. This might be an email address, a name, or even a unique customer number or identifier that you're using within another system in your organization. If you are using this Heap feature, you will see the identity here, like this user, instead of user 6341, etc. Continuing down the left, here you will be able to see all of the information that we are capturing about the user or their properties. By default, Heap captures things like a user's first session, country, browser, etc. and can all be found here as you can see for this anonymous user. Since you can also connect external sources to send even more information to enrich your dataset, any identified user will have even more properties showing in this box, as you can see for this individual. Because Heap allows you to connect to multiple sources, you can really pull in any information that you know about your users to make your analysis even more powerful. Moving to the right, you'll see a session list, along with all the actions that this individual has taken in each session. For your reference, a session starts when a user navigates to your site and ends when they navigate away or they have been inactive for over 30 minutes. If I click this caret icon, it will allow me to see all of the defined events or actions this user has taken. But I want to show you something that I think shows the power of having Heap Auto Capture every event. If I have anything showing raw event in my event activity list here, I can click raw events in the upper right of the user box. Now we're going to see this expanded list of events that Heap has been capturing by default. By auto capturing data, all of these events are automatically here in Heap without you having to do anything. If you see a raw event that has been used a lot, you can even define it right from here. Lastly, you have the ability to leverage our filter query modifier here and even create a segment from this page, share this query, or export this list for external use like building an email campaign, for example. And now you have the foundation you need to really dive into your analysis. Let's head into graphs from here.